50 Cent is on his final lap tour. Uh, been seeing some video and some and some footage from the tour. It seems like people are um, going out and enjoying it. Uh, he was in the Barclays Center oh, oh, um, the day before yesterday, yesterday, last yes, night, yes, Wednesday night. night. Um, so he brought out some people: J Cole, Jada Kiss, A Boogie, the Baby. Um, he brought a few people out to uh, to perform um, in Brooklyn, uh, but obviously the biggest name that came out was J Cole, and um, Jermaine. That was dope. I had, I had FOMO on, for this, this show. I should have just bought a ticket. Yeah. I should have just went that route. Because there wasn't really anyone I could hit because 50 is enemies with every last person that was ever worked for G-Unit besides Tony Yeo. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, going that angle wasn't going to work. <laughs> I, you know, I, I should have just bought a regular ticket, got a fake bulletproof vest, sat in section 300, and enjoyed my time. Did you? But did you even know the show was happening? I didn't even know yeah. the show was happening until it was hitting social media. Like He's were, sold out, I think, every show since. Oh no! I mean, I believe Fifty's gonna sell out shows. It's been a while since he's been on on stage, and obviously, Give Rich to Die Trying being the classic that it is, people want to see that. But um, I just didn't know that the show was happening until I saw people at the show. Mm. But um, J Cole came out, he did his thing, and then he said um, he said something that I kind of mm -hmm. I kind of looked at the phone and was like, Jermaine, I know it's dope that Fifty brought you out. A lot of people in this arena, you know, the energy was 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 big, and you was feeling it. But then J. Cole said that uh, on his list, mm -hmm. there's 50 Cent Curtis Jackson. Yes. And then there's Michael Jackson right after 50. Yeah. Wait, he said that too? Yes, he said that. Well, I think he was referring to uh, Get Richard I Trying being over a thriller. I don't think he was saying in all of music well, right. that Michael was better than Well, let's really talk Let me about stop it. you right there. Fine. <laughs> let's say he was saying Get Rich or Die Trying is a better album than Thriller. And before you start, don't get mad that he took a page out of your man's book. Who's, Who's your book? man? This is what Drake does anytime he's on stage with somebody. They become the greatest artists of all Drake time. Has never, one of the greatest rappers Drake has ever never been on stage and put any album ahead of Thriller. Uh, he he, he had Yachty okay. on stage and was like, yo, Drake you're the new Tupac. Drake has never put any album ahead of Thriller. He did put Yachty over Tupac. He is... That's Any person he goes you, on stage with, he gives the I'm, longest I'm birthday speech fine. that they are the greatest artist of all time. That's great. And he is humbled to show be there. Me, show me where Drake. And then Drake pays 20 hits after that that proves me, he's better than the artist that he's next to. Drake, show Brilliant. me where Drake has said, Genius. yo, your so album good. is ahead of Thriller. Okay, fine. I mean, he saying Yachty is the new Tupac up. was up there. No, yeah, it's not. And he didn't say Not that. even close. That's kind of bad. Not even close. He never said that either. Listen, I love, listen. I love Get Rich or Die Trying. It's better than Thriller. Classic album. But for anybody to say that Get Rich or Die Trying is a better album you, than Thriller. Can you pull the list up, Julian? Well, let's, let's pull let's up look the tracks. Let's go, we let's don't go. need to pull nah, up a track. No, nah, I think we do. Let's do it. For hip -hop. No, we do not. Because I'm on Cole's side. Stop it. No, for you're not. I'm 100% no, on no, Cole's side. No, you're not. You know you're not. Get <laughs> Rich or Die beats Trying. Baby Be Mine. Listen, Get Yo, Rich or Die Trying. Come at Baby Be Mine. Because it's the worst song on Thriller. And that's saying a lot because it's a better song than most songs ever created after that. That's true. But what I'm saying is... I love 50. Get Rich or Die Trying, instant classic. As <laughs> soon as we heard it, it was like, this album is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. But to say it's better than Thriller is blasphemy. All okay. Right, let's go. Right out the gate, 50's up one nothing. How? No, he's Why? not. Why? What up, Gangsta? What up, Gangsta? Uh, versus versus Wanna Be Starting Something? Nah. Well, 50's up on, one fam. nothing. Wanna Be Starting Something? Yo, you're that's crazy. You're crazy for that See, one. See, this is why we shouldn't let white people in hip-hop. Yeah. That's crazy. 50's up one nothing. We gotta start nothing. closing the doors. Yeah, we gotta yeah. start gates. No more white people. Close Sorry. the door. Mike had Vitilato, so it's fine. Yo, are you sick? What's wrong with you? Nah, you're crazy for that one. That Dude, one's wild. Listen, I love Get Rich or Die. How, first I, of call all, me crazy. I think he's up to nothing because I think Patiently Waiting beats Baby Be Mine. First of all. And you have a case versus Many Men versus The Girl Is Mine with Paul McCartney. Yo, all right, Rory. You, you, I'm not going to front. I understand you. might come out the gate 3 -0. I understand you have a podcast. Listen, man, I understand. And, and not only that. <laughs> I forgot about the strike. I understand that, but I also understand mental illness is and, rampant in our yeah, community. And, and yeah. by the way. Thriller wins, but if there has to be a song to go up against Thriller, In the Club versus Thriller is a pretty good matchup. You're crazy. <laughs> Stop. Yo, you're saying anything. <laughs> what are you? What the hell I are you talking if, about? I said if any song from Get Rich or Die Trying would go against Thriller, it would Bro. be In the Club. That's a good matchup. No, that's what's I, up. I feel like I you've gotten you. worse since The New Therapist. I don't know. Yo, mental illness. Yeah. Have you gotten we got it. We got it. All right, fine, fine. Beat it beats high, high all the time. You guys win there. Billie Jean beats If I Can't. Human nature versus bloodhound. I don't P know. You're gonna have to convince P me. P I <laughs> P I P I Young buck might have done it. P I M P or P Y T. That's hilarious. That's funny that those line up. Yeah, it's a great matchup. Yeah, it is. That's a good matchup. That's a good P I matchup. P is one of the. They're worst both matchup. acronyms. Yeah. I hate P I M P. I hated that record. They're both talking about pretty Why? young things as well. I just hated P I M P when it came out, and I hated what you heard about. I just I didn't. I didn't. Well, that record how are is you the off. 
tone with that. Like, and you want me to sing it for real right now? Yeah. And after that, like, 50 cleans up because there's no more songs left. Yeah, that 50, I mean. 21 questions versus nothing. 50, 21 questions. Saying 50 cleans up is Michael crazy. Jackson has a hoodie bro. on. It just, listen, I get it. I understand J. Cole was just, you know, it, it was a high moment for him. Um, I'm pretty sure he. he said that, like, because he got excited? No, I mean, that's what happens sometimes when you're on stage with an artist that you looked up to and whose album was a classic, is mm -hmm. a classic. When J. Cole was, I mean, J. Cole was really young when that album came out, but I'm sure it meant something to him. So to be on stage and just have that energy and 50 there, sometimes you don't know what to say in that moment. So you just start saying That's anything. That's wild shit to say. You could have just, that said, was some just said it was like the greatest hip hop album and everyone had been like, That's cool. You could have just said, Yo, 50, we love you. We salute you. Give it your die trying. Classic album. Thank you for that. Brooklyn, New York, good night. To say, yo, Curtis Jackson and then Michael Jackson, I was like, yo, wait a minute, man. What are we doing right now? All right, we're gonna pull the room. Just because you guys are trying to make me sound crazy. I what do you guys that. listen to more? Many Men or The Girl Is Mine? The Girl Is Mine. No, you don't. Yes, uh, I do. I definitely listen to Many Men. Yes, I, yes, I do. Mm, oh, I mean, but we're also babies of the fit. Like, that's our, we yeah. grew up on that. 2000s. 2003. Let me see your iTunes. It says the date that you played the last song, right? Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Maybe. When was the last time you heard Michael and Paul go at it? <laughs> and cold <laughs> when I left like, yeah. like come on Ew, but Michael she's mine Michael listen man I get it man that shit is, I, I understand it's ass compared to 50 getting shot nine times I, I understand J. Cole <laughs> I get it he's going at preem in that shit you think I care about Paul McCartney but that was a little that was a little crazy for J. Cole to say a that. little that was that, he got right. excited a lot of right. it off. he's probably off that class as well no worry I'm not